This morning, a look inside the spectacular Grand Egyptian Museum, the long-awaited opening of 12 new galleries devoted to four eras of history. The museum located in the heart of the magnificent Valley of Giza. It's built in the shadow of the pyramid. The world's largest museum devoted to a single civilization costing a staggering $1 billion. Visitors will be greeted by a more than 3,000-year-old statue of Ramses the Great, one of ancient Egypt's legendary pharaohs. It was also one of the first artefacts to be transported upright to the new museum in 2018. This grand staircase lined with a lineage of royals from antiquity, ancient Egyptian rulers. It's like magic. You will see the lighting beautiful. One, over 100 statues of kings Queens. At the end of the visit, a panoramic view of their final resting place, the Egyptian pyramids. For renowned Egyptologist Dr. Zahi Hawass, it's a dream realized. We spent all this money to build the greatest museum in the world. It's your passion. It is my passion. Life's work. In 2021, four queens and 18 kings were put on parade 3,000 years after their burial transported from the Victorian era Egyptian Museum, around 100,000 artifacts now housed at the Grand Egyptian Museum, including the gold mask of Tutankhamun, the child king who we saw seven years ago in its original home. It survived grave robbers, clumsy restorations and the Arab Spring uprising. Now a safer, climate-controlled future for these historic pieces. You will see the object for the first time in an incredible way, you can go around each object and it will capture the hearts of everyone. Back in 2017, NBC News was given exclusive access to the museum as statues of King Tut and other treasures were transported. I'm only again at ease when the piece is safe. The exhibits include insight into the everyday lives of kings and ordinary people. This is for the wine. <laughs> Important in the afterlife that you have wine. For Egypt, it's the culmination of a two-decade-long project. This morning, preparing to open its doors to the world. We are expecting to have like 4,000 visitors on the first day. A modern home for an ancient civilization. And Kier, of course, one of the most highly anticipated exhibits is King Tut. So what's that expected to look like? Yeah. That's right, Savannah, and I was lucky enough to get to see it uh, some years ago. Beautiful bows, not ornately uh, crafted caskets for some of King Tut's uh, young uh, children. More than 5,000 items that have been stored away. Now in this uh, new museum, you'll be able to uh, see them. Now, I should note that that gallery, that King Tut, -Tut gallery, isn't going to be open yet. They're writing, waiting for the last, last right moment. But Dr. Hawass, who you heard in my report there, Savannah, he's touring the US uh, next year. So he'll bring King Tut to you. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.